Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our busy schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James. I'm an artist who enjoys painting in acrylic and watching my characters come alive on the canvas. I'm also the creator of the online course called Succeeding as a Fine Artist Guidance, Tips and Strategies. It's ideal for the emerging artists and it shows you how to create a business selling your art. So the link is in the description box. And before we forget, please hit the subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we speak to exciting artists around the world. With me today is Adisa Moswan Harkless. Hello, Adisa. Hi, Jenny. How's everything? Fine, thank you. And where are you joining us from today? Well, today I'm joining you guys from Baltimore City, Maryland. Okay, well, you're the first artist we have from Baltimore, so I'm very excited to speak with you today. So, Adisa, just tell us a little bit about how you got started in art. How did you know you liked to paint and draw and just in, get involved in all artistic activities? Well, you know, I, um, I pretty much can imagine it started out the same way most art of, other artists started out. Yes. Uh, I started, you know, drawing cartoon characters, superheroes when I was young. Yes. But, um, I didn't really see art as a career or anything like that. Right. Up until uh, I managed to get incarcerated. And while in prison, I found that it was like an escape though for me to, uh, you know, get my thoughts together, you know, get my mind right. I learned, yes. you know, certain techniques there. I'm pretty oh. much self-taught. But uh, even still, while in prison and painting, it was just more of a relaxation type yes. thing. Uh, yes. As opposed to it being a career, like how yes. it is. Yes. Okay. And then you continued afterwards. Um, how So how long have you been painting? Well, I've been painting for probably about 30, 35 years, maybe. Oh, so you must yeah. have a huge uh, portfolio of art that you can share with the world. <laughs> yes, I do, I do. And now the world is just beginning to see it. Okay, uh, excellent. I was one of those artists that, you know, just painted for myself. You know, I did uh, several different shows when I was young, but as I said, I, I have a, a mental disability that they call bipolar uh, social anxiety and PTSD, you know, I mm -hmm. really don't call them those things. To me, it's like a superpower, but I totally understand where they're coming from on a clinical sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I have a lot of accolades, you know, but I stirred away from it. Um, particularly when I got married, you know, like a lot of stuff kind of got put on a back burner. And uh, oh. after my wife passed in 2017, she passed from breast cancer. You know, I started getting back into it. Into and, it. Uh, you know, I had a gallery reach out to me and, you know, it's just been going uphill since. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm curious to see some of your work. So please share what you, you, um, you brought to show us today. Let's see some of the paintings. Okay. Well, we'll start with the piece that's on my left. Yes. Which will be your right. Okay. Uh, this piece is called Two Brothers. Yes. And 
it's a mixed media piece. You know, I use like a lot of natural, you know, colors or natural means to make things happen. Yes. I started the base with this with shoe polish. Oh, and it was not okay. easy for me to, to to like work on the symmetrics with the shoe polish as opposed to using a brush or a sponge mm -hmm. or whatever. Because it was I could just be free with it, you know. Yes. And yes. there's a bit of acrylic, some oil pastels, uh spray paint. Uh I use stencil to make the little outer line right here that you yes. see on this side. So and I go back over it with a pen to kind of sharpen it up and give it ah. like a little three-dimensional look. Yeah. And of course, you know, you use the polyurethane to preserve it and give it that shining look. You know, right, uh, right. I actually yes. did this piece uh, in reference to a couple of the or Orisas and the Ifa religion. And basically what the Ifa religion is, it's a religion that stemmed uh, in Iliefe, Nigeria, and Iliefe is the heart of Nigeria, and uh, they deal with several different deities, both male and female. It's like over 2,500 deities in the Ifa religion, so I kind of wanted to touch on the African diaspora yes. with this piece, and it also associates myself with my younger brother. Uh, oh, he and okay. I were like the first two from my father, and my father is uh, is Nigerian. Oh, okay. That's where that stands from. And it's called yes. Two Brothers, and it's actually the first two brothers. Okay. Beautiful. And we're going to move over here to my right. So you can see I'm outside. I love the I love being outside, you know. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's untitled, but it's a woman. Yes. And it's pretty much the same, all mixed media acrylic. Uh, I rarely sell them use oil because it takes so long for it to dry. Okay. But, uh, I also have the shoe polish. And in this one, I use the bingo ink. I oh. don't know if you guys uh, are familiar with bingo, but it's like a, a numbers game, yes. sort of like a lottery. And, you know, that those little bottles of ink that you use to indicate the numbers that that the, uh, the master caller or, yes. as we say, here calls out the numbers and you you blot them with the ink okay. so to make the base of this, uh, oh. so, you know, like all throughout it, throughout the piece. But as you can see, this is her eyes right here. Yes. This is her nose, her lips, her jawline. Yes. All the way to where we see the little earring. And right. I, have, right. I, wanted, I wanted to play with it a little bit, you know, something that was sort of unconventional. But uh, the, the symmetry is what was was what was my main focus right right and the color you know just sort of bring it out a little bit yes yes and beautiful I, you guys can think of a name of it feel free to let jenny know and she'll get back to me on it <laughs> okay if I, beautiful. If I the name, i'll call it that <laughs> <laughs> all right now this one here is another two brothers yes this house, so you can see it. Oh, yeah, and it's much the same. Uh, I really, really like this style. The reason why I say mm -hmm. that is because you know, a lot of artists, you know, they can do different genres of art like realism oh. or extreme realism, or you got impressionism, you know, all these different styles. But I feel that every artist within themselves strive to have that unique style to where. They don't have to put their name on a piece. Oh, like yeah. if I make a piece that's extreme realist, it would be so real that it looked like a photo. And mm -hmm. anybody could do that. They would have to put their name on it. But this is my signature style. Yes, and the reason yes. why I showed those three different styles is to show you, you know, like uh, the versatility and uh, my art form. Right, and right. This is what you will see of me more than anything. And this just right. comes straight out of my head. It's it's not anything that I uh you know looked at a photo or you know if I uh did a stencil or anything like that and, and sort of incorporated upon it. It just came straight from here. And oh, I yeah. think okay. a lot of artists strive to do that, you know. Yes, yes. 
Excellent. And so please tell us um, a bit about some of your art exhibitions and other ways where your art is um, shown to the public. Well, uh, I initially started at Project Row House, which is in Houston, Texas. Yeah. And I was like 16 years old when that happened. And I was doing a lot of drawings then. Yes. Uh, I've had publications in magazines from Houston. Uh, I, I lived in Oakland, California. Um, radio appearances, television Ooh. appearances. Okay. Like a lot. Uh, at the age of 19, I had an episode which resulted in me uh, getting put in a, a asylum as well as being incarcerated. And that's when I started getting into the painting. So a lot of people just shut down and I just started doing things personally. But uh for this for this year is when it really, really started to pick up. I just had a solo exhibition at the Baltimore Art Gallery, oh, which I excellent. Out all of my work. And that was this that was my first solo exhibition. Excellent. Now I've had exhibitions, but it, it has always been with another artist. Yes, yes. But this was my first solo exhibition and I sold it. And uh, so you sold a lot of paintings. Yes, ma'am. Oh, congratulations! That's what most artists strive for, you know. Not just the recognition, but to to sell your work. So that is excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. And I sell a lot of stuff, you know, uh, mostly prints. Yes. To locally, and yes. I think I sell more prints than I do my original work. That's okay. Yeah. That's brilliant. Because it's appreciation again, you know, people yeah. come out there and appreciate you enough right. to buy a print. So that's great. Right. And it's just all from social media. You know, I, I don't have a website yet, but I'm working on it. But this is all from social media. Um, as far as upcoming exhibitions, I'm still with the Baltimore Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, How long does that years. run? Uh, well, I'm locked in on a year contract, so Ooh. how she does it is done, you know, each artist get a month, you know, or a month or two to showcase their work. Yes. So uh, my next go around is in March of next year. Okay, so March 2023 at the Baltimore Art Gallery. Right. Uh, I'm in the process of... Uh, Possibly hosting a show with uh, Reginald, the Reginald Lewis Museum, oh. and also uh, at the UB Blake Center here in Baltimore. Excellent. So we work on that. Uh, I'm also uh, being publicated in a magazine. I can't recall the name of the magazine, but um, I had a photo shoot last week, and they're going to let me know when the prints are going to come out. So. All right, I, so we'll I, I, see it I, on your social I media. On that. Yeah. I'm sorry. We'll see this announced on your social media when it yeah, happens. You will. You will. Okay. Now you mentioned something about a billboard. So let me see if I can share that now with our audience. Because that is very exciting. Okay. So here we're seeing a picture. Are you seeing it? Yes, I see it. So please um, tell me more about this. Okay, this here is uh, the LED billboard in Baltimore. It's the largest billboard in Baltimore City. Yes. And I was recently um, selected as the visual artist for this week. Oh, and this here is the second time that I've made it with, the, uh, with the LED Baltimore billboard uh, um, society. Perfect. Okay, uh, so July 29th. Right. Today is actually the last day that that will be showing. Oh. And there's one of my pieces. This piece in particular is called Gaia. Um, I wanted to make a representation of Mother Earth. Yes. Uh, the goddess of the Earth. And this here is, you know, like 
my own rendition of that. As you can oh. see, her eye glasses are flower petals. Yes, and she yes. has flowers and other type stuff within her garment. And her hair, I wanted to make it an afro, but make it yes, cosmic. Yes. Like that's uh like radio waves, this energy that's coming from her. Ooh. And it exuberates throughout the entire universe, you know. So yes. that's my personal representation of Gaia. Okay, beautiful. And what street is this? This is in uh, Baltimore. Somewhere this, what, what's the uh, location? North, it's, it's on the corner of Mount Royal and North Charles Street. The area is oh. called Mount Vernon. Uh, it's a very prestigious area in Baltimore City. Uh -huh. and, um, I didn't even know that this was up. I'm being okay. honest with you. Like a friend of mine told me yesterday that she saw my artwork on the billboard. And yeah. I went by there yesterday and I managed to get this picture. But uh, this is the second time that I've been selected as a, oh, one of the Oh, congratulations. Good work. And here's another one on the billboard. And this one here is uh, a series, The Three Brothers. And there's a story behind that. Uh, my father, he had three boys. I have sisters too, but uh, he has three boys. So this is a representation of me, my brother, and my younger, the baby brother. Yes. So uh, this one in particular is number nine. Of the series. Eight, of the series. Oh. Right. I also have three sisters too, but I didn't submit it for uh, selection for this particular project. Oh, okay. Well, this is wonderful. A great opportunity to be featured in the city of Baltimore. Congratulations again. Thank you. So please tell the viewers where they can see more of your work online. Well, you can find me on Facebook. Yes. At Adisa Nova, most wearing Harkless L. My first name is spelled A-D-I-S-A. My middle name is N-O-V-A-H. And I have two last names. It's M-O-S-W-E-N hyphen capital H-A-R-K-L-E-S-S, -S, and all L was given to me uh, from the Moore Science Temple. Oh. So that's okay. sort of like a, a, oh, a classification. Right, right. So I'll put that information here on the uh, description box. And you also have Instagram? Yes, ma'am. I have Instagram as well. Uh, you can find me at, at Prince underscore Nova underscore, I'm sorry, that's at Prince underscore Adisa underscore Nova. And it's spelled P-R-I-N-C-E underscore N-O-V-A-H underscore. No, I said it wrong. <laughs> P-R-I-N-C-E underscore A-D-I-S-A -A underscore N-O-V-A-H. Sorry okay. about that. <laughs> That's all right. So all that information we're going to put here on the screen so the viewers can go to social media and see more of your work. So that's all we have time for today. Viewers can also see some of my work on Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. And on my website at JennyLynnJames.com backslash art. That's Jenny Lynn James dot com backslash art. Please check out my course on Udemy. It's called Succeeding as a Fine Artist, Guidance, Tips and Strategies. So great for the emerging artists to make a living selling your art. Check out my course. The link is in the description box and hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we speak to another amazing artist. Thank you so much, Adisa. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, bye for now. Bye-bye.